Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio and another installment of Kathy Makes a Card Live. I'm Kathy. I'm the one that makes the card live and I was trying out some new music in my intro, but I, I, if there was an echo on that, I'm sorry. I didn't quite have the right buttons pressed, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, thank you for the disclaimer. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> so here's the thing. I did put makeup on today and you know what? This, this hair is not going to fly. So we're just going to whip it up here while we let people join in and I'm glad to have you here. Sorry. I just, you know, the long hair, I tell you what, although we're going to take care of that right now. Okay. Anyway, much better. Now it looks like I have a little fan in the back of my head. Happy New Year, everyone. This is my first live stream of 2023, and I'm super glad to be here. I, I pulled a bunch of things today. I have a vision. I have something in my brain that I hope will work. A couple things uh, as we start out this new year together. First off, I just want to thank everyone for joining me for my live, my live streams. I started live streaming much more regularly last year, and that is going to be my goal for 2023 as well. This is a little different. So if, if lives aren't your thing, these are meandering. There's a lot of chit chat that happens. It's, it's very unstructured. And I have many other videos on my channel, especially from past years that are short, sweet. If you like longer things, more edited things, I have well, maybe something you're looking for, but this might not be for everyone, but it is for you. And I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, yes, it's great to see you all here see a cast of familiar names, Barb, Barbara Ray, Lancashire Lass. We got, we got people, but I'm chit-chatting a lot now. And that's, well, again, I'm not really gonna, um, I saw a post recently <laughs> just lamenting lives and how horrible they are. Um, by, by this person's opinion, I'm like, oh honey, just go take a nap. All right, let's go to the table though. And I'm going to show you the melange. Okay. We have Okay, we got a lot of things here. And it's, oh, I see Emma, my, my moderator. Emma, good to have you here in this, uh, well, this new year. I see Beth and Mindy. It's great to have you all here. So hello, hello. I will try to, you know, pop up. Yes, and Barbara Ray, you're right. We're human. We chat sometimes. Um, oh, I don't even have my little, should I do my little photo inlay? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I feel very, I feel very, um, Maybe not. There I am. Okay, we're going to pop up in the... Okay, sometimes, well, though I'm not really centered. That's kind of weird. What if I made it smaller? Can I make it smaller? There, it doesn't need to be big. Okay, again, we're ready to go. So this all started when I was cleaning uh, as I've been moving everything up. I have a piece of Simon Hurley stamping foam. I haven't used this very often. I mean, I think the last time, as you can see, it looks like I used a flower, but I wanted, I want to do it. So this is point A. Point B. Point B is this lovely plate. Now I feel like I may have seen Simon, well, you know what? I, I don't have time. I, uh, thank you, Colleen. I feel it makes us human too. I, you know, all right, I'm, I'm going to riff a little. I'm going to riff a little here. Uh, people, choose different things on YouTube uh, for, you know what? I don't even need to take, well, yeah, let's, you know what? I'm just going to leave it here for now. Cause it doesn't matter. I'm going to be pressing into this. Oh, how do I have two cameras at the same time? Well, <laughs> it's all magic. I'm telling you. Um, cause I, I have two cameras set up. So I have a video camera up top and I have a Canon, some Canon camera pointing at my face. And then I have a third camera for my, which is just an iPhone for my, my die cut cam. Irregardless. Um, hey, Vicki, good to see you. Okay. What I want to do is I want to use this to make a pattern that I'm going to press and I'm going to use these colors, right? I'm going to use a little misty misty. Okay. And then, oh, it looks blurry. Hey, Cindy, you know what? Log out and come back in. Um, we have a good stream here. So give it a little, uh, give it a little refresh and come back. It's probably an internet issue. Unless of course it looks, uh, is it all blurry? It's all, is it all blurry for everyone? Um, also there should not be music on right now. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but, um, 
double check your settings too um because we stream in a uh we me it's uh barbara it's no it's good anyway um you can always log out quit your browser and come back in because i am i am hardwired to the internet my friends okay now uh i have some dyes and i also have this uh die of the month kit which i got from spellbinders i did a card on january 1st and i'm going to use one piece here and then I'm going to use some stuff from here. Like I just wanted to make a whole melange of things and bring them all together. Does that sound good? I mean, again, I think it could be cute. Um, but one of the things I wanted to remind you is, you know, you can take a bunch of disparate products and you bring them all together and see what happens, right? I, I love, love the ampersand in the small die of the month kit from Spellbinders. The whole thing is super fun. So I wanted to use it with some of my word dyes. So that's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna start out with making some magic. Okay, let's try not to mess up. Also, uh, welcome to everyone who's just joining. I will most definitely uh, update the supply list after the video. Melange, it is the word of the day. It's a great word. So I've, I've, seen, I've seen Simon Hurley do this. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna heat up our foam and we're gonna take an impression off this gorgeous foil plate called, I don't even know what it's called. It's called something. I have. I do have this one linked because I'm not gonna hot foil. I'm just gonna use this pattern, okay? I'm very excited, very excited to try this. So let's uh, zoom in a little. There we go, okay? Now I may have to stand up and put my elbow down, okay? Uh, and, and that may have to happen. And yes, Barbara, I do. In fact, the link that I have below in this video is an affiliate link. In fact, all of my links are affiliate links. And when you shop with my links, you are helping me. That's how content creators on YouTube make a good chunk of their income. And it costs you nothing. So there we go. All right. I'm going to take... This is new, by the way. I've been using this now for a couple of weeks. It's great. My other one cracked. Um, my... Wagner, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on the full heat. It'll get a little quieter. And I'm gonna heat up my foam. Am I doing this right? I hope so. Okay. All right, let's see. I have no idea if this is hot enough. Pressing it down. And here's what I have to do. I have to lean on it this way. This is called the forearm technique. Now, when you have bad wrists, don't hesitate to use that forearm. Oh, so good. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work. <clears throat> but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Did we get anything? <gasps> we did. Well, look at that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, we did it. We have we have liftoff. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way. <laughs> that worked. Okay. So I need to get a little piece of cardstock here. And you know, I hope this doesn't slide on me. You know what I might do? Let me grab my stencil bag. Okay. I know my stencil mat is super stained, but the nice thing is, is I know that my paper won't move once it's on there. Okay, yeah, this is cool, right? I've seen Simon Hurley do this before and I just haven't really done it myself. And I thought, you know what? We're gonna make a background today. Now, here's three colors that I've used before. They're kind of cool. I did them on one of my favorite top 10 uh, video of the year cards. And I thought, you know what? We're gonna bring them out 
And I think we're gonna work from blue, no, yes, wait. Hmm. We're gonna go pink, orange, blue. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I just saw the question, will this work on any dies? And I believe the answer to that question is yes, ma'am. Um, but it depends. You kind of have to play with it, right? You have to experiment a little because it, it just depends. I haven't done it with dies, but uh, I think Simon has. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going direct to uh, direct to the thing with my... Oxide pads. Hadn't used oxides in a while, and that was part of what I thought too. I thought, you know, I should I should use some oxides. Now, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. But see here, I kind of think I might want to do yellow instead. Why did I pull blue again? Yeah, it's hard to know. I think it's gonna be pretty though. We're we're going with something a little funkier. Okay. Right. Well, you know what? How about this too? A little bit more. Okay. Anyway, welcome everyone who's joining. It is, oh, sorry, it's, it's not that squeaky. It's just kind of a swipey, you know? My pads are, well, I mean, they're they're not super juicy. These ones probably could be inked up a bit, but I'm just getting that cute little pattern to show up. I actually love that color. And maybe just pat a little like that. I don't, I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. That looks dumb. Oh, but I guess you do kind of get a green, don't you? Oh. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a little bit more right over here. And that does give me a green, and I was not expecting that. You know, for, <laughs> for graphic designer, color has always been my Achilles heel. Um, in terms of knowing what works, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mist this very lightly with water, okay? And I don't I don't wanna do this over my paper. Well, here, why don't we just, nah, I'm gonna do it just off to the side, okay? Can you see that over here? There we go, look at that. Kinda of get a little bit on here. And then we're gonna come down. Oh, I gotta stand up for this just to make sure, excuse my head. Oh, I just slid on the paper. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I kind of slid a little, but that's okay. Yellow and blue make green. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a whole new thing. So how's your how's 2023 going for you so far? <clears throat> it's going pretty well for me. I would like, I don't know. Now I didn't get it centered, but that's okay. Let's see. You know what? That's not bad. I don't like that overlap though. Hmm, here's what I was thinking too. I'm going to wet this down like that, okay? And I'm gonna wipe that part off mostly. Oh, that's, I'm gonna do another one. But isn't that cool? Like it's really pretty. Actually, I do think that's kind of cool, but I wanted to see let me grab a yellow. Hold on here. Okay. All right. Got squeezed lemonade. One of the, oh, I wanted to tell you while I'm here, um, studio updates. I'm going to set this aside, although I do think it's pretty. So I am almost ready to film my video my new studio tour uh, because I recently picked up the last few pieces. The final piece that's coming is a, a ceiling fan. I just ordered one today that I thought looked pretty cool. And so then I'm gonna do a tour and it's not gonna be like super long. I don't have a ton. I mean, this move has really helped me to pare down. And I know some of you don't know, like why did you, why did you leave the dining room? Well, I wanted to have a place that I could create at any time that I wanted to. I wanted control over lighting, which I've never really had um, because I have always used some natural light and some studio light. And I wanted to be in a space that had more control. 
and just a place where, you know, I could live stream in the afternoon and I didn't have to tell people to be quiet and stop talking all the time. You know what I mean? So, oh, in a circular kind of motion. Oh, well, all right, let's, let's try it. I mean, sorry, I'm just like that. Oh, I can see why that would make sense because you're getting sort of a soft, oh, great tip there, Sherry, thank you. I'll try that again up here. I think I'm gonna like this one better, but you know, here's the thing. You get, you get a couple and you're good to go. All right. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this over here. See that? I'm just doing one mist this time. And I don't know what that is. I'm going to try to stand up and get this a little straighter if I can. Okay. And drop. Okay. And press. Okay. Yeah, this is not my daughter's former bedroom. That is the next room over. This is my office where I have worked for years. Should we see what it looks like? Oh, I think that's actually really pretty. It's a little more washed out, right? Well, now I don't know. Actually, I actually really like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think because this is such a light color, although that's pretty too. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see, let's do a little more. I wanna do one more and I want it to be a little darker. Um, but yes, this is my office where I used to and still do predominantly do all of my design work and my video editing and basically where I've worked for years. And well, now, uh, <laughs> Paula, no, I didn't move because it was time to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Um, although, although I have to say, I'm kind of hoping that my husband and I can pick out a beautiful uh, new table, replace that old thing and a sideboard and turn it into a really lovely gathering place. I think that would be very, very nice, but stay tuned. Um, I think I did like the blue in there a lot. It does feel a little tropical. Here's the thing. I'm spending way too much time on this, but this is a thing. If you ever like, just want to make backgrounds, just make backgrounds, right? You, they don't have to be perfect. You can have a bunch of them. Here, let's just go. There we go. That's a little better. And drop. I'm going to press this a little harder. What program do I design in? Oh, Kat, that's a good question. I use Adobe Illustrator to design stamps and dies for Simon Says Stamp for logo work. Um, I use Adobe InDesign for production work for the magazine. Maybe if I popped the pink on the bottom of the yellow. Oh, maybe I could have done that. It might have. Well, let's see. We gave this a little more. Ooh, <laughs> that one's better. That one's better. Isn't that better? I like it. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna set these aside. Thank you for that suggestion, but I I think that's nice, right? Super simple. I have these and these, right? I still think that's kind of cool though. I might actually end up using this, but I will tell you, I am gonna trim down, uh, I'm gonna trim down whichever one I use. So, and then I have all these to use. So let's get this cleaned up out of the way and we'll set you oh I'm running out of space over here okay you guys try over here now I'm going to give this a little clean and I'll just kind of go like that I don't know they're not hard to clean I mean I probably I haven't I haven't used this in a long time of course, you know, right, to remove this, you just heat it up. And I don't think I'm going to waste the time uh, on camera to do that. I think I'll do it after the fact. But again, it was just taking a fun little foil plate and, yeah, having that. By the way, this block that I have this on, it's an old, um, can you read that, close to my heart? Because I think I saw Simon Hurley do this too where... Uh, yeah, where he had this on it. It's just for people like me with wrist problems. Kind of dig it. Okay. 
Now, ooh, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> okay, moving along. Let's move on to what I want to do next. And here's what I'm thinking. All right, I have my dies and they are here. So what I thought would be cute for this, I love these little greetings and they're small, right? The CZ Design Basic Trio, uh, they're just a nice small size. And so I wanted to have these like all purpose greetings in that smaller size. And what I want to do is I wanna use the ampersand from, there's that cute little detail, from the die of the month. And I'll be sure to add a link to the video where I used this whole die set in the card that I made recently. Um, Spellbinders is just killing it right now. Um, they're making beautiful, beautiful products. And here's where it's going to be a little mix and match. So I've got these three, I wanna do a hugs, but I want it to do some sending hugs or so here's here's what i pulled out i this is actually which one is it sentiment strips which i'm obsessed with because you don't have to stamp and they're crisp and they look great right um i oh i see a question too pamela if i was uh designing in windows adobe illustrator <laughs> Adobe, the Adobe Creative Suite works for all platforms. Windows or Mac does not, it doesn't, one is not better than the other. Um, but those are the standards and those are what printers are used to working with. Those are what um, get the production houses who make our stamps and dies. So Adobe Illustrator, got to learn it. Kelly Dobeck, thank you so much for the super chat and, and happy new year to you. Oh, thank you. Emma's linking you guys up. This is great. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to have my ingredients say something like, well, okay, sending sunshine and hugs or sending lots of love and hugs. Like actually, either of those would work. Now, here's the thing about uh, sentiment strips. You can do so much with them. Yes, you can foil them if that's your thing. Foiling these is not my thing, although they are foilable. But I just love them for kind of adding a little contrast right and and just creating something that's kind of cool and different and small so let me grab another die Ooh. okay i'm going to cut these out oh my gosh my eyeball itches it's all that makeup okay oh cat wants to know what are my thoughts on die cut machines like cricut and silhouette um oh oh like like electronic cutters they're great i mean i don't use them anymore um, I will tell you, one of the things that I found out when I started making cards was that a die, a metal die, like what I'm about to use here, gives you this edge that you just don't get on an electronic cutter. Now, I have a silhouette. It's in my closet. <laughs> and I mean, I used it as a scrapbooker. I never use it as a card maker. And... How does that look? It'll look pretty good. I'm just using one of my Simon Says Stamp Sentiment labels. I'm trying to get that lined up because I don't want to mess this up. And I'm going to use some of this low tack Easy C tape, which this is this is probably my favorite little uh, tape because it just it just doesn't seem to tear. Now is that really vertically centered? I can't tell. Eh, it's a little off. Well, no. Mm -hmm. Not perfection, Kathy, not perfection. Um, so as far as electronic cutters go, I just don't use mine anymore. But they're very fun, like for scrapbooking, I used to love them for titles. Um, yeah, loved them for titles and things like that. Oh, I wanna tilt this a little and we'll cut this out. But I don't use them, I don't use them for card making. Also, because people always ask, I use a Gemini Junior 80% of the time because I have wrist issues and I love the fact that I don't have to crank. But I use this Jennifer McGuire method that I learned from watching her channel and it, everything I've learned is from Jennifer McGuire. But I use two clear cutting plates and I use the double-sided die plates. I tape them together. One always stays plain. Well, that's that was a mistake there, but one is supposed to be the non-cutting and one, as you can see, is the one that I cut into. So I tape those with packing tape. I tape this with packing tape. And that is the sandwich that I use. 
they are so straight. Even this one, check this out. I mean, I'm getting close to having to replace the green plate. That is after months of use. So I, I am obsessed with this sandwich and it's what I'm going with for 2023. Come hell or high water. There we go. Okay. So let's cut this out. Uh, and then when I go through, sometimes I go through this way and then I flip it and go that way. So really, I just try to do it every single time. All right, let's go to die cut cam, which isn't the sexiest camera out there, but it's there. And of course, that thing there, which is the number one thing I get asked about, this is called the Rotating Design Board. It is made by Totally Tiffany, uh, and it comes with a little clip on it. Like when you look at it in the store, it looks like a clipboard, but the clip is not attached. And I have been using this for my Lazy Susan approach for my Gemini for a couple years. Fantastic, fantastic. It's the best, <laughs> it's the best thing. It's the best thing in my craft room. Really? No, I don't know if that's true, but it's, you know, it's up there. All right. So we're going to take these off and look at that. Just no tearing. So good. I love it. And one of those is going to be our greeting, the, the start of our greeting. Okay. Uh, yeah, tape can go here and you can go down here. All right. I'm going to pop these back in, but I was kind of digging through my sentiment strips to see if I could figure out you know, do I have one? And I think this is going to work. And it's going to be fun to show you, and I hope I remember to talk about this, the element of contrast in design, um, because it's a big, it's a big thing that you can use as a designer and a creator to make things that look amazing. Okay. Now we need to do some more die cutting. Let me grab, hopefully I have enough here. I don't want to have to cut more cardstock. I want to, see, here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna do this fancy schmancy. So I think what I'm going to do is keep this neutral. Uh, here, here's another thing, when in doubt, like if, you, if you're ever like, I don't really know what I want to do with this project, when in doubt, keep it neutral. White is always neutral, gray is neutral, um, craft cardstock is neutral. And a lot of times I play it very safe with my color choices um, on certain parts of my cards, if that makes sense. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, there was a list and it was the list of, oh, hold on. Do you know how every year there's a university, I don't even know, Pennsylvania, somewhere, they do a list of words that have got to go, right? Phrases and words that need to just go to the waste bin, to the dumpster and never come back. And one of them, one of them is the phrase, uh, do you know what I mean? Or wait, no, does that make, does that make sense? There it is. That was on their list. They said, people need to stop saying, does that make sense? gonna try but sometimes it's appropriate you know what I mean all right so we have our cute little friend now I think what I'm going did I, I I never do this the right way there we go look how sweet that is I'm going to cut out another ampersand I'm gonna need more white cardstock too I realized that I could have done a lot of this uh, ahead of time and off camera but you know then I wouldn't have this time with you. <laughs> um, I don't think I need an extra of that. So let's cut this out. And die cut cam, so sexy. Someone said that the Gemini ruined their dyes. I have been using my Gemini for so long. I mean, I've had it, well, I think I bought it two years ago. 
um, this was not one that was sent to me. I get I get a lot of things sent to me, won't lie, but I also buy a lot of things. <laughs> so I like to shop like you. Uh, let me get a little more white cardstock. All right, hold on here. White cardstock? Sure. I'm going to take my cutter. Where are you? Hold on. It's getting a little messy in here. This is the one problem with my new space. Is that, you know, it gets a little gets a little crowded in here, but I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer for a second. All right. Coming in. Yes, the stream deck is that little it's a keyboard. It's basically a keyboard. Um, that's all it is. Let's zoom out just a little here. There we go. It's just a it's just a fancy little keyboard that is connected to various functions on your streaming software. I think gamers use them too. All right. Going to get that out of the way. And now I have a little more cardstock, and I'll show you what the stream deck looks like when we come through. Um, also, you know, if there's ever something on a live stream, and yeah, Barb, you can't leave now because who knows what I, I don't know what this is gonna look like. It could be a hot friggin' mess, and that was kind of my concern, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, in the words of Styx, Nadi jamais jamais. Anyone remember that song? If you do, <laughs> give me a shout out in the comments. Uh, I am 80s forever. Okay, so I've got one more ampersand and I'm going to pop in my hugs. I, yeah, we'll, we're gonna do this as a, as a backup, a fail safe. Okay, so, oh, Kelly, your, your hubby uses one, that's fun. Yeah, I mean, there, so here it is, hold on. It's right here. It's just a little keyboard. And, and when I hit the button, it brings me back to this camera. And I, I stream live in uh, Ecamm Live for Mac, but it's just like StreamYard. Um, StreamYard, which can be for Mac or PC, but Ecamm Live for Mac is just for Mac users. And it's the one I started with, so... I figured, Barbara, we're, I think we have the same music love. Um, yeah, okay, I, I have three ampersands, I have a hugs. There, I really don't, I really don't know what's happening here because now I need to just slow my roll and start prepping for this card. So, what time is it? Oh, 3.33, that's not too bad. Also, great to have you all here. Appreciate you for being here. Actually, I still need that one. And, you know, live stream. It's just a thing. I might talk about my haircut. I might talk about my new favorite lipstick. I might talk about why I keep tape all over my body when I'm working. But first I want to grab these pieces, okay? You know, it's hard to know. I actually, so I do think this is too light for what I want to do today. So I'm going to set this aside. Here's what I'm not sure. I don't know which one I want to do because here's the thing, okay? The ampersand is going to be white. That's my thinking. And when we build up our dimension, right, we have a, wow, you can't even see that, wow. But I'm gonna stick to my, I'm gonna stick to my plan. Well, I mean, this was my plan. You know what? I like the one on the right better. I just feel like it's just nice. Um, does it matter if I'm cutting into the green platform? Oh, Paula Quick, cutting only into the green. I never cut into the clear side. That's just the sandwich that has been working great for me. Um, but let me grab another die that I need. And where are you? Here we are. Oh, I'm set that flying. So I'm going to trim, I'm gonna trim this down a little because I want to have I want to have more control over the centered ones, okay? And this panel, eh, huh? actually, that could work. Okay, I love to cut after the fact. 
because if I don't have something centered, then I can, right? And this is a three and a half by four and three quarters panel. I could go up one. Let me see here. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I kind of like how that breathes a little more. Anytime you include open space in a design, just kind of kind of helps it breathe a little more. And I'm all about that life. So let's see. So here, this is three and three quarters by, by five, right? Yeah, okay. So yes, I cut into the green. That's what I do. I do think this is pretty, but right now it's just reading really, really tropical to me. And that's fine. That is fine, right? We're just, you know, we're just going for it. Oh, here's another thing about the green plates. So once you cut and cut and cut and cut and it's just a hot mess, you untape, you flip it over, and then you keep cutting, cutting, cutting into the other side of the green plate. Then I'll show you. You just keep replacing the green plates. That, that's what I do. I just keep buying these. They come in a two pack. That becomes the piece that tapes to my clear plate. And I'm telling you that they just don't seem to work. I feel like, I feel like Jennifer should just do a standalone video because it really does work so, so well. All right. Now, now that I have some human epithelial cells on my tape, let's add them to my project. So here, I just like that you can control your crop, right? You can say, you know what, that looks, that looks pretty good, all right? Now, of course, you can do this with any colors that are your favorite. I love, uh, or I love pink into orange into yellow. It's probably my favorite. Uh, it's probably my favorite, and that looks, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's cut this out and go back to die cut cam. Oh, it it met a roadblock. Okay, here we go. Now uh, let's flip it. Blade side up this time. Right. I also wanted to mention, but I forgot, sometimes during the live I don't see every question and I always try to save a little time at the end. But look, look at how nice that looks. It can go either way. I don't know. I might actually want to go that way. Um, but if there's ever something like you have a burning question, you, you didn't get answered and I didn't see your question, you can always message me or email me, sorry, email me at my email address, which is listed in my about on YouTube. It's Kathy at KathyZilski.com. The only part that's going to trip you up if you don't know how my name is spelled <laughs> is the Zil Zilski part. Actually, it's the Kathy part. You'd be surprised. People get very confused on how to spell that, but it's because it's spelled with a silent P. I'm just kidding. Okay. So now I have you, I have you, I have you. I don't know what color hugs is going to be yet. That's what I have not decided. Hmm. Hmm. See, I told you it could be a hot mess, but let's start out by gluing some things together. I'm going to grab my spray glue. All right. Oh, there we go. Pop this in and I'm putting these away now because I always think I'm going to lose them. I'm going to set this aside so I don't lose that. And let me get my spray box out. Oh, there we are. All right. I have prepped my spray box. All right. It's ready to go. And where are my mucky tweezers? These are, I call these my mucky tweezers. I have now what are my good tweezers that aren't supposed to hit gross stuff, meaning glue or these. Okay. So we're going to take flip you over, flip you over, and let's get my I'm gonna use a spray adhesive because it's fast, and I don't think it's gonna go on anything important, so let's just give it a quick little, holding my breath, hold on. <laughs> Okay. 
highly trained professional. And now I'll get you out of the way, pick you up, and let's, let's zoom in here. All right. Pop you here and glue you down. Now I think I, well, shoot, this is where I get, it's hard for me to line these up sometimes when they're delicate. You don't have, you don't have as much play time with spray glue. That's the only downside, right? And when you got something that's kind of flouncy like this, it can be a little tricky. I've been doing this now for, this is my sixth year of making cards. And I still, I'm just now getting good at stacking dies. So, you know, remember it is just paper. If you mess, and, and that's not perfect. If you mess up, it's no big deal, right? You're just, you know, you're just making a card, right? And you can always cut out more if the perfectionist perfectionist in you says, well, it wasn't very good. That's good enough, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's good. Now I've got a nice thick ampersand or press. And I'm gonna take my liquid glue. This is Connect Glue from Gina K. I keep a pin in here that my friend Carla sent me. It had all this cute stuff on it, but this cute stuff is now long <laughs> since gone. Uh, oh, Kathy, I use packing tape from the post office. Literally just your garden variety packing tape because it's strong, right? It's not gonna fall apart on you. All right, a little liquid glue here because I would like to see what I'm doing. Now I can use a nice one. And I'm gonna pop, <laughs> yes, Lisa, it is better than horrible. And this is just for a little detail, right? And I love that. That is the one thing that Spellbinders does so well. They just create really cool stuff with detail and texture. I mean, I'm a product designer and I don't, <laughs> my brain, you know, I, I, I have a wheelhouse that I stay in when I design things. And that's okay, that's okay. Uh, can I can I line it up through the misty? You mean like the die cuts? I never thought of that. I don't know. I mean, I always just kind of free range it, if you will. But all right, now let's get my little trimmer. Oh, sorry. I just apologize to my spray box for running over it. Uh, running over it. Okay. Here's here's my little rock. Wait. Rob, I love this baby trimmer. It's so cute. Okay, we are going to trim these down. Also, if you're just joining, welcome. If you've been here, thanks for sticking around. Now I'm gonna trim these down. Uh, well, you know what though? I like to do it this way. Can you see there where I have the E just to the right of this little bar? It's gonna give me this nice little cut. And it's going to help me vertical, or is it vertical? Center it. Center it within the, the black itself. So we have Sending Sunshine, which actually I could take a tiny bit more off that. Just a little. Okay. And we have also Sending Lots of Love. Okay. And like that. <laughs> the wind must be picking up. I need to grab something from my stash. Hold on here. All right. Had to get this pen. Um, if I, and again, if, if video freezes, just quit. Come back in. I promise you the stream is good. But I'm going to take this Copic T10. And I'm just going to color on the sides of this cardstock because this is white core cardstock on the sentiment strips, right? And we want this to look like it's on a piece of black cardstock with white type. It's a small finishing touch, but I always do it. And these are printed black toner ink, but where you see the type, there's no ink. And that is called a reverse. All right. And that way, whichever one I end up using, 
we are both ready to go. Now, let me grab some foam tape. I have been loving this Ulta new tape and I've been using it a ton. I'm gonna put you here and this here and this here. Okay, slide you out. And let's get my panel. I am going to pop this little friend up, so we need to add some foam tape. I guess I could, I still haven't figured out the hugs part, but <laughs> it could be the part that brings it all crashing down. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll soon enough. All right, uh, opening this up and we'll just measure. Great. Oh, I meant to ask, oh, Julie, thank you. This is called Lit. L-I-T from Dazzle Dry. I, I have gone all in the past six, month, six months on Dazzle Dry. I will say this, it's not, I don't, I feel like it's not a beginner polish because there's multiple steps, but I, I, but yet the results, I've never had results like this before. I can, I can paint my nails and they almost, I've only had one chip in six months and I have had no breakage, not a break. I do keep my nails decently short, but um, I always link my colors, whether it's uh, Olive in June or now Dazzle Dry, but I'm not, I, I left, uh, hold on here. I actually left the Olive in June affiliate program today because I'm not wearing the polish and so I don't, I don't wanna promote something that I'm not wearing, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Help me, word gods. Okay, so here's the thought. Now I know, I know it, it seems like a little subtle, right? But here's the thing, it's supposed to be. This is meant to be a textural thing. Oh, Jane, yeah, I just, once I discovered this this polish, I was spoiled. My nails are no longer yellow. It's, it's an amazing brand and it's expensive. <laughs> and I'm not, I, I, have an, I have a link. I'm not an affiliate, but if you show up with my link, I get free polish. That, that, that's pretty much it. Now here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Sending Sunshine is going to be the greeting, but you know what? It might have to be broken in half. And Hugs, this is where I need to come up with a color for Hugs. Let's grab our scrap bin. Okay, because this is my thing. This was my thought. I don't know how it's going to end up looking. Oh yeah, my friend Mindy's watching. Mindy knows because <laughs> I got her hooked on Dazzle Dry. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, now if I'm looking in here, I think I want to have. Okay, this little bin, by the way, I made this for the new studio. I keep my scraps in sizes that are four and a quarter by five or smaller. And you can, you can download these printables. They're very cute, right? You just laminate them, trim them, and stick them in a little Ikea Variera bin, the small size. I have a whole blog post. I will be sure, Emma, remind me to pop that in. Oh, hugs in black. <gasps> okay, we're gonna try that. Oh, I think that could be really good. I just saw that pop up, Donna, and I think that's actually really smart. Or yes, the yellow, that's a really good idea too. So let me see if I have a yellow, here's the problem. Well, that might not be a problem. It's, here's the thing, my white balance, it's reading green, it's not. I promise you, it's very yellow. Okay, I'm gonna try two. And unless, unless we also want to try three. You know what? When in Rome. I love my scrap bin. It has been amazing. Um, I will answer that question, Michelle. My nails have never been stronger with Dazzle Dry. Uh, actually, I think black might be the ticket. Also, they are not yellow anymore. <laughs> oh, flip my base. Oh, I could do that too. But let's let's get a black, let's get a black hugs cut first and let's see what we think okay uh yeah my nails have never been stronger they have not literally don't break but I, again i don't keep them you know i keep them short you don't even really see you know my nails over the back but
it's a great it's a great product it just has a learning curve it has a learning curve because you actually have to warm up the base coat until it re returns to fluid clear viscosity and I remember when I first started I thought I don't have time for this I do have time for this because it dries in five minutes and I can go do anything I want it is a true quick dry it's crazy okay so what do we think hmm hmm I'm gonna give all the options because you know what I, I know we're closing we're getting close to uh, closing time but you know it's just me and uh, I can do <laughs> I can do whatever I want um, okay bringing it around. Uh, I got to pop Valerie's comment up because yes, okay, the way I learned about Dazzle Dry is a woman named Anna who has a YouTube channel called The Salon Life. She is all about natural nail care and she does some stuff on shellac too, but I learned all about cu proper cuticle care and nail care and, okay, let's see. That <laughs> just disappears. <laughs> Let's try the yellow. This may not be, again, live stream. I don't know if this is going to be the best card I ever made, okay? <sighs> I don't know. Vicki Donnelly, do you mean the song? Did I just, yeah. True story. Um, I have met Dan Wilson, the man who wrote that song. I met him once at the Mall of America. I got stories for days. Um, all right, let's see here. Yeah, Mindy said to flip it. So did she mean like if I flipped it? Okay, let's just, let's just, and I trust Mindy because Mindy's a really good designer. Like if I went like that, then we could have a little, you know, repetition of pink. Oh, that's actually, she's pretty smart, that one. So there's that. I think, I think going all black might be flip it, flip it good. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll see. When a problem comes along, you must flip it. But yeah, I met I met Dan Wilson at the mall because my hubby knows him. Um, but then if we pop in a yellow, yeah, that kind of disappears. It looks green. I promise it's not green. That's just weird. It does not, it does not work. Now the other thing, see, okay, let's t let's take a little pull. I never do black greetings. Um, and this will look different in the photograph too, but I'm going to stack it up. Let, let's just like that. And I don't know if I'm going to cut sending sunshine apart or flip it, <laughs> flip it again. You know, I, yeah, I feel like, okay, here's, here's another thing I could do. Hold on. I'm going to build up the black on white. Okay. Not, not like a lot, but let's do. Let's do one more hugs. Hold on here. Hold on, people. Uh, coming in. Oh, I could. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes the reason we use tape is for that very purpose. Oh, I could do a shadow layer. I ne I mean the offset. I never think it. I never think to do that. But let's see. I cut one more out. I, I kind of stopped going to the die cut cam because you've seen it, you know. Oh, hey, Christine. Well, welcome. Welcome over there in the UK. Tally ho. <laughs> I'm, I'm so international. Um, all right. Now I could do that. All right. Let's see what it looks like with an offset. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't. Oh, layer the black. Oh, layer the black and offset with color. Just a little. I, you know what? It might actually have to be with white because, let's see. Hmm. You know, I never do that. I am an international woman of mystery. I kind of like this. Let's, let's give it a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is, we're getting close. We are getting close. I'm not going to go. Sorry about that. That was a little aggressive. I'm not going to get any louder. Or I'm not going to die cut anymore. First things first. Let's glue. Uh, 
Are we zoomed in enough? Can you guys see what, what's happening? I could just use uh, little dots, but right now I'm just gonna use liquid glue because it'll work. It'll work great, okay? I'm gonna glue these two together first. Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay, like that. I think I have enough there, hard to know. Doop, come on. See, this is why I like spray glue sometimes because I can't really see what I'm doing and I don't know if I have enough on here, but let's go here. Um, yes, that scrap bin is from Ikea. It is the Very Era box, the small, and it's like $3.99. When I went to Ikea the other day, I decided to, I mean, I could do that. I could do that in metallic, but I think I'm going to leave it. Even though it would have, you know where, you know how it would have looked really good. Would have looked really good in gold. I did pull some gold, but now I've already layered that on. We we may go there, but here's what we could do. So we we just offset that a little bit so there's a a little shadow. I think that's cute. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. It's a whole new world. Oh, CK, our, our Ikea is 20 minutes away, what, may, what makes it dangerous. Um, <laughs> but honestly, I only go, I, I've, I went for my craft room for the new studio, and, and that is, it's changed my life. It makes it so affordable for people to have really good storage. I, I spent more money on my stamp and storage inserts than I did on all my Ikea furniture, if that tells you anything. But again, I feel like it's an investment. Well, it is. It's an investment in my business. So I, you know, I'm good. I'm good with it. Okay. Pearlized. You, you have the, okay, now here's what I got to make sure I do that I don't mess it up. Okay. We're going to offset it just a little, right? Like, like that, I think. Okay. Pick it up and a little offset. I want to, or do I want to go that way? Kind of, kind of like it, kind of like it that way. See, just a little. I never do that. Oh, Valerie, it is a tax deduction. I, <laughs> oh, I spent a lot of money on my business this year, which is good. Some years I do, some years I don't, and this year I did. Okay. Now, let me grab another scrap for you. Because, you know what? <laughs> you know I'm the Forrest Gump of card making. Well, it went this far, so I might as well, you know. That's a terrible Forrest Gump impression. Please don't tell my husband I attempted that because he will never let me live down bad impressions. I um, I have this impression of Sting. And my husband says it's so bad. <laughs> I can't, I'm going to cut a gold one out. Someone said metallic. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you an option. We're going to give the people what they want. Cause I think this will maybe tie. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. We're going to let, we're going to do this. Um, I have a very bad sting impression. It just sounds terrible. It sounds, um, like a goat bleeding off in the distance. It's just, it's just not good. Okay, let's cut this out. So we have a little gold. I should have gone, and now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, well, we'll see. We're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, Roxanne, no, I'm not gonna do it. It's actually, a, it's not that song. Okay, so I, I don't know if I've ever done on all, no, maybe I've done it once. I don't do a lot of black greetings. So this is, this is exciting times. More tape, more tape. I should put them on my nose and I would get a bonus like Biore pore strip effect. Do you remember when we used to do that? We literally, we used to just try to get everything out of our skin that we could humanly possibly get out of our skin. Those are the days. This is Simon Says Stamp Matte Gold, the best matte cardstock. Oh, I love it so much. 
Now here we're going to have to visualize and we might have to tear something apart. And if we do, that's going to be okay. Because here's, here's what I'm thinking. Come on over. Okay. And now what would it look? Oh, wow. I wonder if the gold is the way to go. I might be cutting this apart too. Sunning sunshine and hugs. Is gold the way to go? Huh? Or now just open mind, open mind here or this, and I might cut sending sunshine in half. Hmm. I'm torn. I know. <laughs> now here's the thing. I have this. I can go, I can use it, right? I could, what if I just put this on there? What if I just did a little gold? No, I don't like that. That's weird. The gold is nice. We'll see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but what I'm going to do before I finish thinking, you know what amazes me with Gina? Cause here we are at the, we are at the, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to cut this down a little more. What amazes me with Gina is how she has such fully realized ideas in an hour. And you know, she does them on the fly. It's just, Oh, she's amazing. She's amazing. All right, we're cutting this in half like that. Oh, did we just lose it? Nope, we're good. And I'm going to have to pen it up a bit. Okay. We're getting very close. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I don't I do I really don't know how she does it. This is going to look better, trust me, as a stack because it's going to have more balance. Now, coming over here. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Irma. I, <laughs> I like, I, I mostly like my style. So we, we, we do think that the gold is the best way to go. You know, it is warm and it will look pretty and it will stand out. So here's what I want to do. Can I take this off or, or, you know what we're going to do? This is what we're going to do. We're going to cut it right like that. Okay. Now look how smart I am. I don't have to worry. I don't have to redo this. I just have to glue it on a little bit. So let's do that. I just didn't want to uh, tear anything, but if I do this, it might work. And I could offset it a little bit too. I might. All right, we're in the home stretch. Glue. Okay, good. Now, popping you on. Well, I now gold splatter. You getting a little carried away there, Marianne? No, I do love a good gold. I love a good good gold splatter. But I think it is beyond the scope of time that I have today. All right, let's get you in here. Let's just, let's just, it doesn't have to be offset because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not all about offsetting everything all the time. But here, we're going to put this up one layer up, right? I, didn't, I wasn't even checking to see if I was on camera. There we go. And this is it sometimes, you know, if, if you're doing something, you just, you know, keep playing. Even if this turns out where we don't like it at all, it's horrible. It's fine. You know, it's fine. Okay. Yes. The gold, uh, no, this way I can never remember. Oh, okay. Here we go. Getting you in a little dimension, dimension. Okay. Now. Squashing you down. Okay. Let me get a note card for a card base. Do I have one? I thought I did. Where did I put that? There it is. Okay. Okay. Cause I'm not overthinking it now. So here's what we have. We have this look ampersand. Oh, so cute. This is yellow. It's reading green. I promise. It just looks a little nauseous on camera. There could be a little, um, white balance issue. So we're going to place that down at some point and then we're going to have our little hugs on here and that's going to glue on and then sending. Oh, 
sending sunshine and hugs that's kind of my thinking that that's basically my thinking okay <laughs> so let's move this out of the way it's kind of cute it's gonna be cute or it's gonna be okay but we're gonna keep going all right so i've got a piece of white card stock here although black would be cute you know what? Let me cut a piece. Gina, where's your beautiful black card stock? Here we go. I am going to cut this down. All right. Now, uh, actually, that's the wrong black, isn't it? No, that'll work. That'll work. I think I'm going to just see. <laughs> I'm going to see. Uh, now, the thing is, all right. Get our score line in here. This could be cute. I never do black card faces either. And of course, if you were gonna write on the inside, you could use a metallic marker, right? You could use, uh, or just do like a, a little white insert, right? And then I could write there. I, I often leave my cards blank on the inside because I, uh, I like to write a lot. Uh, that's kind of one of my joys in card making is being able to write a lot. Now that kind of brings it alive, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Still, still not sure about sending sunshine and I may have to actually get some foam squares out, but we'll do that in a second. I love the offset of the hugs. You are all brilliant. Did I hide the worm? I don't, I didn't, I don't, I don't know if I had the worm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're going to pop her up, and I'm going to just stand up for a second, look down, and make sure. Oh, there's my little gray hair. Um, okay. That looks good. I feel like I'm Gina K Designs right now with the black. <laughs> it's very exciting. Let me grab some foam squares. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I need. I think I need some thicker ones. All right, let's see here. Let's come in a little bit more. All right. Um, one of the things I didn't ask anyone today because I'm 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 feeling better all the time. But how has the picture quality been for for those of you who are not getting a blurry uh, a blurry picture? <laughs> Pretty good. I I feel like uh, I love my new setup so much. I really. I can't tell you how fun it is to create in here, you know, as I go through the day and it's just, yeah, it's been great. All right, let's try not to smush that out too much. I'm using liquid glue here because I feel like this is a great way to have my die cut on. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I have to, uh, I have to do a little cleaning here of my nozzle. Got a little extra glue on there. All right, just getting it a little tacky. Tacky in the good way, not in the tacky way. Okay, and isn't that just a gorgeous ampersand? So you know, um, this is part of the Spellbinder Small Die of the Month kit. And it's, I, I they, they've invited me to play all year and I am just very excited because they're it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's definitely, kind of out of my comfort zone. And I love that, I love that. Also, I hope I can get a good picture of this later. It's hard to do um, after the sun sets, which is setting now, because uh, studio light just makes everything look weird, but, I, but, I, but I'm gonna do it, right? We're gonna do it. Now, I'm going to place my hugs so that there's at least that much of a contact, right? And for sending, and sunshine, here's here's where we're gonna have some fun, I think. I kind of wanna split some foam squares. Okay, well, let's see. Because I think, and I could be wrong, I think it's gonna be cool. Um, boy, we're getting tiny here. Where's my craft pick? Okay, I'm gonna take that. Here's where I, I don't, see, I don't wanna break the, uh, 
I don't, I want it to come like this. I don't, I want Sending Sunshine to be together, you know, and part of it feels like it needs to be somehow like that. It needs to be grouped. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Oh my gosh. It's like a vocal tick. It's like a vocal tick. And then this is a little offset like that. So here on the S, I'm going to take a little tiny piece of foam tape, very tiny, because what that will do is it will help support, oh, I need one on the G too. See that? Little tiny pieces, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay. I can't even see which side. It's like I'm a, it's like I'm a watchmaker. Okay. Go like that. Well, <laughs> come on. Something sticky. Is that it? Okay. That way, I'm going to have support for the G, okay? So I am going to take this off. And where's, where's all my tools? It's like I'm operating, Dr. Scalpel, okay? Oh, hey, Sylvia, good to see you. It's just been a weird, this is, this is my melange card is what I'm calling it because it's really a lot of things happening today, more techniques than I usually do, but go here and a little liquid glue. All right. And I do want to thank those of you who are joining me today because, you, you know, you have valuable things to do with your time, but I appreciate you being here. And I also appreciate the fact that you have made YouTube such a fun place for me to be because people are nice. <laughs> Some people aren't. But most of you, very nice people, very good people. All right, let me grab this at an appropriate location. And we're going to pop this here. And I do want it to be, you know, um, right about there. That is exactly what we're looking for. So here, you know, you have this sort of, it's lined up with that. Oh, I like that. I do like it. Oh, thank you for letting me know that, Sarah. Sometimes it just happens. And yeah. And then Sending Sunshine is going to go right up top. I don't think I'm going to put tiny foam squares on here, you know, because I'm just going to wing it with the glue. But I'm going to let that get a little tacky for a second. Okay. And that will go right up here. So then I want to talk about what's happening from a design standpoint. Let go, let go, Kath, there we go. Okay, press. Now, I don't know, how is that gonna stay when I send it in the mail? If I send it in the mail, we are gonna have to roll the dice and see. I'm, I, it probably would have been better to put a little bit of foam square on either side, but sometimes I do shortcuts. Um, I sent a card to Jennifer McGuire in the mail that I didn't think they had done shortcuts. I thought it was pretty good. And uh, the whole thing fell apart by the time it hit her house, but she said it was still pretty. <laughs> thought, well, yeah, if the goat thinks it's pretty. Yeah. Also, another word on that list was goat. All right, let's pop this down. Oh, now it shifted a little, hold on. You gotta wait till it's tacky. Oh, I think that's cool though. It's, it's, it's definitely sliding a little. Oh, okay. Gentle, relax. Now, gonna, well, I went this far. Might as well keep going. Oh, okay. There we go. And I'm gonna add some sequins. This is just the gold sequins from this Calls for Confetti. And there's some things that I don't have here, but I, you know, okay. I do want to talk about the design. Don't let me forget because there's definitely some things happening here. But I think all I want to do is take out. Oh, uh, I, I don't. Hmm. Well, we'll see. One and two. It may not really need sequins, but we'll see. We're almost done. Okay, that would be cute there. Maybe we take a little friend in here. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like that mucks it up. I don't think I want anything in there, but you know. 
Hmm. I don't, I don't love the sequins, to be honest with you. I don't love my placement yet. We'll see. Sometimes it comes to me. Sometimes. Have a little there. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I like what a sequin brings to a card. So funny because I never used stuff like this as a scrapbooker. And boy, the sequin life, it is my life. Let's get up here and here like that. Just, just little. I don't know. I don't, I think that's too far down. I think now it does need to go yeah, right up here and here. What do we think? Except let's make sure it's not wrong side down. I think, I think that's what we're doing. Cause I, I don't want, I don't want to put anything on the inside. I kind of just want that to stay as is. See, I don't have little small black dots. If I did, I, I, I mean, I have some, some somewhere, but I'm going to just go for it. We're going to go for it and we're going to call it a day. Okay. Oh yes. I don't know who's asking, but yes, my birthday and Dan's birthday, one day apart. He is on the 6th. Boop. I am on the 8th. Boop. Okay. This is actually kind of cute. Boop. A lot, a lot happening here today. This is not my typical clean and simple, right? But yet at the end, it's still kind of simple. You know, like the design is still kind of simple. We're going to talk about the design. Oh, that was upside down. Great. Great job, Kath. Boop. And boop. And that is the finished card project. Hey. Oh, March. The 8th of March. <laughs> I guess that it's just the 8th of every, of every month. We celebrate every month because I'm special. And um, so the cool thing about what's happening here with the design is we've got now, again, you're all part of this. You were part of this design. Repeating that black, it's a really cool way to go one, two, three, right? We've got this, we've got three elements of black that kind of all tie it together. I do think the gold does make it. The gold actually creates, uh, it gives the ampersand more of a body. It gives the ampersand more of an ability to be red. And then of course, these colors are just in rainbow order. And yeah, there was, there's a lot going on here today. So I, I thank you for your feedback. I think this is really fun. Also, just so you know, I don't do shorter edited versions of these videos because I think live, live card making is, is something unto itself, right? It's not, it's not, uh, it's just what it is. I, I like, I like taking the time. Um, Mindy asked, why didn't I center the ampersand? Well, it is centered, Mindy. Look at that. See from side to side, it's totally centered. Now, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know if that's not centered to you, but it, I don't know if it's, it's a little off from top to bottom, but those were the spaces I was preserving for the ampersand. It probably could have been tilted a little more upright. Oh, top to bottom. Yeah, it's just poor placement. <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> So that's just it. You know, if I were not doing this live, I might have seen that a little bit more clearly, but uh, that was not my intention. I should have slid it with a... <laughs> Mindy, you're a good designer. See, you saw it. Anywho, let's envision that that is centered because that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do. But but when I when I shoot it, maybe I'll shoot it in a way that makes it look... Here, here's what's weird, though. I will show you this. It's definitely off. Like, if you look at... That's... Let's say that's just under an inch and that is, yeah, that's three quarters of an inch. Okay. So it's off. I was going to say, it's just because the hugs makes it look heavier at the bottom. The hugs does make it look heavier at the bottom of oh, that. That is a, that's fat, but yeah, that's the finished card project. And that is all we have today. Let's go select all scenes so you can say goodbye to my other camera and yeah, that, that's our finished card project. Oh, I guess I could get rid of the extra me because <laughs> I don't need. <sighs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, there's more space at the top. You know, it just, <laughs> it's live. You know, it's, it's gonna be, it, if I could fix it in post, as they say, I would do it. But yeah, it was supposed to be centered. I think because sometimes when I'm sitting back, I don't, 
I don't see the down the way I need to see it. And that's an interesting thing too. I, when I'm, when I'm not designing on camera and when I'm, I, I like to stand up and look straight down, it just makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. So yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much. I appreciate you for watching today. A couple housekeeping notes. Number one, I have a fun video coming tomorrow at I think it's 8 a.m. Um, really fun card with some new products from uh, Waffle Flower Crafts. And then Saturday, I haven't set it up yet, but I have a premiere coming, another installment of Never Have I Ever. It's another product I have never used before, and I'm so excited to share that card with you because you, you just have to see. I will be putting it up, uh, the trailer. I've got a little trailer for it too, so that tells you what I'm using. And that will be coming soon. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, thank you so much. It was uh, great to have you here. I will take a nice photo of this card, uh, hopefully if I get some decent lighting. And yes, if you have questions that I missed, again, don't hesitate to, I used to have an overlay that showed my, let me see if I can, see, let me see if that works, email me. Nope, <laughs> it's totally not, still wait, hold on. There we go. That's my email, kathy at kathyzilski.com. Feel free to send me a message anytime if there's something that I didn't answer. That is my main YouTube and work email that I, I always see those messages when they come through. So I appreciate you all. Have a great rest of your, what is it, Wednesday? I'm going to go make dinner and sit back in front of the fire and, well, I'm going to take pictures and update my supply list. But after that, I'm going to relax in front of the fire and then I don't know what will happen next. All right. Thanks so much for watching everyone. And I will, yeah, I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.